Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Grayson. We're out here about to run to AutoZone. I own a window cleaning, pressure washing, roof cleaning company here in Portland, Oregon. Um, and I am filming every day as I build my company to a million dollars. So I hope you guys like the video. Like and subscribe to see more. All right, just about done getting my truck all washed up for some estimates today. Never like to have a dirty truck when I go out and do estimates. Um, about 33 degrees out, so it's pretty cold to be washing the truck, but I didn't want to have a dirty vehicle. It was pretty dirty. As you can see, there's a bunch of frost on the roof. So it's cold today. <laughs> all right, all done with my estimates for today. I just finished up my fifth estimate. Um, I already got two of them on the schedule and then one of them I don't think is going to schedule because we were too expensive and then another one she was going to think about it and give us a call back but pretty good I scheduled just over a thousand dollars today uh, from doing estimates from my Facebook ads um, I spent like so far three hundred dollars on the Facebook ad and it's already scheduled us over a thousand dollars worth of work so it's not a terrible return but hopefully I have a few more messages and estimates that I'm still gonna be doing from that. So hopefully we get a few more jobs from it as well. Um, and then we also got a call from an estimate that we did in September for a large pressure washing job for a tile roof. That one's just about four, or just around $4,000. Um, and I think they're gonna be scheduling for February. So that'll be pretty cool as well. We'll be able to get that done for them. Uh, it's super mossy, so it'll definitely be some good before and afters. and it'll make a huge difference for the building. But gonna get back to my house, eat some lunch, and then make some calls and try to uh, get some more estimates on the schedule as well. I'm working right now trying to kind of build a list of objections that I hear when I'm out doing estimates um, so that I can create scripts for sales employees down the road. I wanna have a, a sales team by the end of this year of at least two people and I can start building scripts for them so then when they're out doing estimates, they already know what to say and what common objections are from customers. So it just helps them out and it streamlines all of our answers. Our salespeople will know what to say when somebody has an objection and everybody will always answer the same way as well. My idea is that I could pay somebody a salary plus a commission on jobs that they bring in if they were doing sales. Um, I was thinking maybe do a tiered system so the more revenue you bring in the higher percentage you would get paid so you have more of an incentive to bring in more revenue so today I brought in let's just say a thousand dollars I would have made 15% on that so I would have made about 150 bucks today from driving around doing estimates um, I'm gonna be hiring a full-time salesperson so if anybody in Portland area is looking for a job in the next like six months or so you'd get a company car and be on either straight commission or salary plus commission so send me a message uh, if you might be interested in that or if you know somebody else who's interested in it but it'd be a really good position it, if you're on straight commission you'd be making quite a bit of money if you're able to sell a lot of jobs um, and yeah it'd be a good a good position so i'm working on getting all the systems built for that position right now today i was really working on building uh scripts and trying to list out as every objection that i heard while i was out selling the main objection for me today was probably price um my prices are a little bit lower right now even because we're in the winter so that was kind of surprising but Price was main the main objection, so I'm trying to build scripts right now to um, try to convey to the customer our value, um, why our price is higher than other companies or higher than they expected, and just trying to build out a script so that our salespeople aren't left without words when the customer says that the price is much higher than they're expecting. So. Trying to get that, I want our salespeople to know what to say, have an answer. So definitely scripts are a huge thing for um, for selling, just knowing what to say. Same with answering the phone. That's one thing that I'm going to be working on soon is having a script for when answering the phone, which we already have a basic script, but it's not for every uh, question or every objection or that kind of stuff. 
Thanks for watching the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we scheduled just around five thousand dollars from estimates that I had. Uh, one was sent out in September. They just called and scheduled for next week. Um, the other ones were from either Facebook ads or from canvassing neighborhoods. We also got a four hundred dollar estimate from. So canvassing and Facebook ads definitely work. Um, Facebook ads doesn't have quite as good of a return as canvassing for us at least. It could be my who I'm targeting or just the video itself that I posted this time because last time we have done Facebook ads in the past, it's worked really well. Uh, but hope everybody has a good night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, what do you think? Did the mommy sheep just pee on the baby? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where's the dog? Oh, we got pigs in here. <laughs> What do you think, Will? That's a dog. No, it's not a dog. <laughs> it's a sheep.